And we have vowed that we shall not see it governed by a hostile flag of conquest, but by a banner of freedom. We choose to go to the moon. We choose to go to the moon. We choose to go to the moon in this decade and do the other things, not because they are easy, but because they are hard. Because that goal will serve to organize and measure the best of our energies and skills. Because that challenge is one that we're willing to accept, one we are unwilling to postpone, and one we intend to win, and the others do. September 12th. 1962, the day we chose to go to the moon. One of the many speeches given to bolster the support of the American people during the space race. America was already on its way to setting boots on the moon, but had competition of its own, and America knew it. The the real challenge that uh, we coped with was the challenge of Sputnik, the international competition, uh, with the Soviets, uh, they're putting a dog in space, then Yuri Gagarin, and uh, made one orbit before we could even make a suborbital flight. But then, less than a month after that, the president said, We're going to send a man to the moon and bring him back safely. And uh, this was in May of 1961. T minus 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9. We have ignition sequence start. The engines are on. Four, three, two, one, zero. We have commit. We have have lift off at 7.51 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. July 16th, 1969. 2.32 p.m. local time at Cape Carnaval Air Force Station. We launched a total of 10,873 pounds into space on the first mission to claim the moon. That is really fantastic. We can pick out Baja and the smog over LA and uh, we see Mexico and we go off to the to the east in our picture. After 240,000 miles with a travel time of 76 hours, Apollo 11 finally made it to their destination, marking a huge win for America in the space race against the USSR. historic telephone call ever made from the White House. I just can't tell you how proud we all are of what you have done. For every American, this has to be the proudest day of our lives. And for people all over the world, I am sure that they too join with Americans in recognizing what an immense feat this is. Because of what you have done, the heavens have become a part of man's world. And as you talk to us from the Sea of Tranquility, it inspires us to redouble our efforts to bring peace and tranquility to Earth. For one priceless moment in the whole history of man, all the people on this Earth are truly one. One in their pride in what you have done, and one in our prayers that you will return safely to Earth. Thank you, Mr. President. It's a great honor and privilege for us to be here representing not only the United States, but and of peace of all nations. 
some way when those two Americans stepped on the moon, the people of this world were brought closer together. That it is that spirit, the spirit of Apollo, that America can now help to bring to our relations with other nations.